Many people want to put their waste somewhere and this should be someone's responsibility on some innovative way of collecting that waste and disposing of it in a manner that doesn't do harm to health, to the environment. So that's a big question and I think we have a good um, waste uh, uh, management um, strategy that's being put in place. What we need to do is to roll that out and to bring partnership um, from the private sector and communities and governments. Now, same thing with the desert. You don't just plant trees. I mean, planting trees where? How how do you um, maintain them? Uh, often I get suggestions that we should put forest guards. Well, forest guards are useful, but they're not the solution. The solution is communities protecting their environment because they see that from that environment they gain. So the Great Green Wall's repositioning is not just to put a green wall up but is actually to put an economic corridor that is green, uh, that involves all these sectors, that can produce, first of all, the trees that will benefit you because there's revenue, it's an alternative livelihood, but also that we look to solar power because we want to, um, we want to engineer um, small and medium scale industries which will benefit women um, and men, but you know, mostly women, <laughs> um, and that we, we get that up and running in an integrated way. That's what the sustainable development agenda is about. No silos. Just how do you make the interlinkages? How do you make sure that everyone engages in a result and brings their best foot forward to making that happen? Irrigation, agriculture, science and technology, environment.